1965. With the United States racing to land a man on the moon by the decade's end, rocket technology is evolving fast. In the spotlight is the Atlas Centaur, an unmanned hybrid rocket. The lower stage is an Atlas ICBM. The Centaur upper stage is the first U.S. rocket to burn liquid hydrogen. With its tremendous boost, Atlas Centaur was originally designed to launch a satellite weighing half a ton. In the pre-dawn darkness on March 2nd, Atlas Centaur 5 is being readied for a test flight. It's a dress rehearsal for the mission that will attempt to land the first unmanned spacecraft on the moon. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. AC-5's main engines ignite, and the rocket lifts off. Two seconds after liftoff, the Atlas Centaur collapses back down on the pad. Once the engines ignite, the pressure inside the combustion chamber forces gas out of the rocket's end, producing thrust. When the AC-5 drops down on the pad, that pressure in excess of 3,000 pounds per square inch has nowhere to go. thousand plus pounds of liquid oxygen, liquid hydrogen, and refined kerosene explode in a cloud of smoke and flames. According to NASA, a faulty valve closed less than one second after liftoff, cutting off the fuel flow to both main engines. Deprived of its firepower, AC-5 never has a chance. The Centaur cost over 137 million inflation-adjusted dollars. It's the biggest fireball ever seen at Cape Canaveral. 